The planting module is the crown jewel. It has been designed to work as a planting pot in which up to eight plants can be grown, four at the top and four in the side holes. The drainage grid is responsible for separating the internal compartments and the module store four liters of water inside. Anti-roof filters prevent the perlite from entering the internal tank of the module. Place the drainage grid in the position indicated in the video. An ideal humidity chamber for the development of the plant roots is created inside the pot. The water level viewer is a safety system that will help you know whether the crop is missing water. Place it as indicated in the video. It should always be visible, which indicates that everything works correctly. Then fix the microtube on the tray slots. How to plant? Planting is very simple. The first thing you should do is remove the top tray. Cover the central tube to prevent the substrate from entering. Then fill the module with medium grain perlite substrate to the edge. Before planting, hydrate the perlite. It will absorb 2 liters of water, and another 4 will remain in the internal tank, being in total 6 liters. It is important to cover the center hole during planting, so the perlite does not enter inside. To planting in perlite, as usual, make a hole and introduce the plant. Then gently cover the roots with perlite. Repeat the process to plant on the sides. Place the tray with the water level viewer and repeat the operation at the top. With the help of any tool, dig the substrate perlite. Place the plant and cover the roots with perlite. House taking plan. My pot has been designed to install stacks. It might be necessary to tie the plants to support their weight. Cut them with the appropriate measure to each crop. Insert the stakes into the side or upper modules holes and then tie the plants to guide the growth. How to fertilize? My pot fertilization is carried out only with three fertilizers. However, it is also necessary to regulate the pH of the nutrient solution. How to use the Ferti calculator? The first thing you should do is open the application and select the kind of crop. Enter the number of liter nutrient solution to be prepared. 
Then select the phase or week in which the plants are. Measure the initial irrigation water electrical conductivity and select the value on the cursor. Once you have entered this data, the calculator will indicate the fertilized doses you should add. In this example are added 445 milliliters of Universal A, 312 milliliters of Universal B, and 422 milliliters of Active Bloom C. Once the fertilizer is added, the nutrient solution electrical conductivity will reach the value indicated. Finally, keep the nutrient solution pH stable at the values between 5.5 and 6.5. Preferably, use phosphoric acid to regulate the pH. Several crop options are raised. The first is carried out on a hydroponic tray. There are several models and sizes of cultivation trays. Their installations are similar in all of them. Install the irrigation system. The irrigation system installation is very simple. It will need a water reservoir that collects water and accommodates the pump. Please follow these instructions included in the irrigation kit to proceed with the installation. Join the kit parts as instructed. Install the irrigation pump inside the tank. Connect it to a timer and schedule an irrigation cycle every 3-4 hours. The irrigation kit includes a bypass that helps you empty the tank when you need it. Expanding the tank capacity allows greater irrigation autonomy. To do this, install a float valve on one of the sides. Then connect it to a larger tank that will keep the tank full by gravity. It's very easy to use my pot in professional agriculture by cultivating on trays as shown in the example. In this cropping example, on a cultivation tray, a kit for a square meter with four modules is seen. It is to serve how the water recirculates and returns back to the tank, closing the cycle. The water level viewer visible on top indicates that everything is working correctly. The second option is to cultivate with the My Pot Tank module. My Pot Tank module has a capacity of 14 liters. It comes with an irrigation pump and flows valve pre installed inside. Assembling the module. Before assembling, look at the lay stops that the deposit module and the planting module have. Insert the pump microtube through the side hole of the planting module until it comes out from the top. Fix the microtube to the central slot of the module. Check that it has not been strangled between the modules. How to install the wheels kit. Casters are very useful accessories that are installed in the tank module. Place the tank module upside down and with the help of a hammer insert the plugs into the side hole. With 
the clusters, it will be very easy to move the cultivation kit. Expand the tank module capacity. Thanks to the float valve, it is very easy to expand the tank capacity. Simply connect it to a larger tank using a microtube. It is possible to connect more than one cultivation kit to a larger tank using a T. It is very easy to use my pot in professional agriculture using my pot hydroponic kit as shown in the example image. In this example, with a tank module cultivation, it is seen a planted MyPod automatic cultivation kit.